Hi, this is Maya with RICO. This video is about the different ways to look at a document within the core reviewer interface. So when you first log into Relativity, you should find the document set you're going to review and then click on the first record in your set using the blue underline control number link. This takes you into the core reviewer interface. So at the top, you can see we have our control number, and this icon represents the native type that you're looking at. Just below these icons, we have several radio buttons. We have the viewer, image, extracted text, and your production image radio button. The viewer renders your document in the native format. So it allows you to see the document more or less the way that it would look like um, in the native application. When you click on the image radio button, this shows you the TIFF image. It also gives you some more tools to be able to highlight and redact your document. The extracted, extracted text is where you look at and you can search the text of this individual document. So if uh, you wanted to know exactly where in your document the term was hitting, or maybe you wanted to look at a document with OCR that's a little bit messy. You can take a look at the extracted text to see exactly which text is included in your index. Final radio button is your production image. This is the TIFF image, the way it looks like, uh, the way that it was produced in your document set. You can see here at the bottom, we have our um, Bates number burned in at the bottom. This production image is static and you don't have very many tools to interact with it. You can't mark it up like you can with the image radio button. So I'm going to go back to our viewer and I thought I'd navigate across a couple of documents so you can see how those look with the different file types that you might encounter during your review. Here's an Excel file. Um, you can actually click through the Excel file looks like it would in Excel. Um, you've got different tabs. You can navigate those different tabs. And this document has term hits. And this panel here at the top, it's called the persistent highlight pane icon. Um, this opens up this pane here, which shows you either the search terms that you search to get at this document set, or it will show you any persistent highlighting um, persistent highlighting is the highlighting that you can configure for every document in the database without executing a search. If you wanted to hide any subset of the terms, you can click the little light bulb icon. And you can even deselect individual terms. You can jump from one hit term hit to the next. This includes your search terms or your persistent highlighting terms by clicking on these A icons here. Go to previous highlight, go to next highlight. And this helps give us a little more context into um, why this document is relevant. You can see it's taking us to the exact point in the document where those terms appear. Some other tools that we have available is just our zoom tools, so you can zoom in and out of the document. Great for pictures especially, but you can see here for this document, it actually makes the font a little bit smaller, so you can see more of the page. You can reset with this icon. You can actually search within any searchable text within the document. This works good for native files. Um, you may find PDF files that don't have OCR in the PDF will not be searchable. I mean, you can always jump back to the extracted text to search the text in those instances. We have some more navigation tools here. That just sets your zoom. And the last icon I want to show is the print save as PDF. I recommend you click this button instead of hitting control P so that you get just the document um, within the browser and not a print screen of the whole browser window itself. 
This icon will work for documents that have hidden items. So if your document has track changes or hidden rows and columns, you can select this icon and it will reveal those hidden items. And this is for the Microsoft Word document types. So we'll just click through a couple more. Here's a Word document. And you can see, again, we have our track changes available. And we can show or hide our terms, navigate across terms. And it basically looks like a Word document that you would interact with in your daily work. Here is a pop-up menu that appears when there are track changes or hidden items. You can actually um, hide these items if, the, if you had already selected the button for this document. Now the hidden content is not visible. We can show these items and the hidden information is now visible. Um, this is the same thing you can do by downloading the file and interacting with Word to show or hide track changes. So moving along in our radio button list, we can navigate to the image. So this is the TIFF image of the Word document we were just looking at in native format. And you can see that our toolbars have changed. Um, we no longer have access to the persistent highlighting or search term hits panel. Um, that's available just in the viewer and the extracted text. But we do have other tools, again, our um, navigation tools plus a new navigation tool that um, allows us to jump to different pages. This is our thumbnail panel. We can change our zoom with these. We can rotate the pages. And we can also do some highlighting of our documents. So if we wanted to just pull out this to remember um, some comments that we made. And this is also where we can redact. I'm not going to go too in depth into the redaction in this video, but these several icons are your redaction options. So you select your tool, you click and drag, and your redaction is available. Um, this is your markup visibility. So if you're reviewing a record that has a redaction and you want to see what's underneath it, you can click on that eyeball icon and you can see now the redaction is transparent or hidden. Um, same with the highlighting. And then you also have your print to PDF if you have permission to print documents in the database. So moving down our radio button list, here we have the extracted text. As you can see, our persistent highlight panel is available. And you may have more than one page of extracted text um, this will allow you to navigate if your document is very long. Um, in this case, we just have one page, and you can see our term hits are highlighted. Um, this is a great uh, tool for trying to find your term hits if you've only been provided an image, uh, such as an incoming production. You can still see the highlighting and navigate your document to get some context as to about where your term hits are and you can navigate back to your image to find the document. I'm sorry, to find the page within your document that you really want to look at. This extracted text panel, you can have more than one. Um, that's very useful if your firm has OCR redacted items. Um, the OCR field could be available in this drop down as well. This final radio button is the actual production image. You have a fairly limited set of tools, just um, zoom and basic navigation of the TIFF image. And this is where your redactions will be burned in and your Bates endorsements and any confidentiality endorsements will be available on the page. You'll also be able to see more than one production image if, for instance, you produce different versions of this document to the same party, or if you are producing the same document with different redactions and different numbers to other parties. They will all appear in this one place. So you don't have to navigate across records to find all versions of your document that's been produced. just navigating across a few more records to give you a sense of 
the viewer and how it looks during your review. I've got a Word document, some more emails, contact info. Here's an example of the TIFF image. Um, the viewer was displaying the, I think it's probably a TIFF or a JPEG. And you can see here, we don't have any available um, term highlighting or hit highlighting because there's no searchable text within this document. Um, it will look similar in the image view. This is how it'll look when you get an incoming production. So if you needed to search within that document, you can pop over to extract the text. There's your term highlighting, there's your search window, and um, you can get some context about the record by navigating through the text this way. You can see here this one even has page numbers, so that would help us orient ourselves to the images quickly and easily find the stuff we need. Here's another example of the same. So that's the skinny on how to look at documents and even a little bit of searching and redacting um, in the core reviewer interface. Thanks so much for joining me today. Happy reviewing.